Hi, Leanne Maxwell with Panther City Partners here. And I wanted to chat with you today about um, managing this academic disruption. Things have changed for everyone. Um, and as a life coach and an academic coach, I spend a lot of time talking to my clients about managing and navigating life's transitions. And this is a pretty big transition. So I wanted to give you some tips for managing your academic disruption, because that's what a lot of us are dealing with right now. Um, whether you are a parent or a student in high school or college, you're navigating school in a much different way than you have in the past. So the, some tips for navigating online courses um, are these. First and foremost, you need to check your school email every single day. Um, your professors, your um, administrators from your school are contacting you and giving you new information every single day. Some schools um, are changing their academic policies, so you need to be aware of those things and they're submitting that information to their students um, through email. So please be checking your school email every single day to know the latest information from your university. Um, from your school, from your district. Um, secondly, um, you need to go to your online academic hub, whatever that looks like at your school. You need to be checking that every single day, probably multiple times a day, because things are changing quickly. Professors are, are doing a great job of punting right now, and teachers too, and they are coming up with new plans on a daily basis. They're figuring out that this works, so I'm going to keep doing it, or they're deciding, hey, that didn't work and I need to change gears here. So you need to be checking your online hub, your academic hub every day to see how things are changing. Do your professors require you to be at the online lecture or no? Even if they don't, should you be attending? Yes. Um, so you want to pay close attention to the due dates because everything has shifted at least a little bit if not a lot. So pay attention to new due dates, pay attention to new assignments, pay attention to new ways that assignments are um, supposed to be submitted to your teachers and professors. So you need to be looking at your academic hub on a daily basis so you can be aware of these changes. The second or the third thing that you really should be doing is following a routine. Now it's pretty great because most of you, especially those of you in college, had a class schedule already that was pretty set. And those of you in high school as well, where you were working, you were attending class Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, nine to 10 for a sociology class or whatever the, the subject is. But you had a routine of when you were gonna be in class. So the way that you need to do this now is you need to go to class still basically. So even if your professor is not requiring you to be or attend online lectures, Every day, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, nine to 10, if you were in sociology, you need to be in sociology again. So whether that's being at the lecture, whether that's checking your hub, whether that's doing the assignments for class, sticking to that same routine will help you maintain some semblance of normalcy, but also will ensure that you're getting everything done. Now, a tip about online classes, even if your professor is not requiring you to attend online lectures, it's a pretty good idea to be there anyway. Um, it's really easy to see who's participating in an online lecture because most of the time your name pops up um, so people can see that you're there, your professor can see that you're there. It makes a good impression for you to show up. You know, your professor is putting in effort, your teachers are putting in effort to um, to disseminate information this way. And so they're showing up and so you should be showing up too. Get your money's worth. You've already paid your tuition for the semester. So go to class, be, a, be there for your professor, especially if your professor is doing something like, I'm available for questions. Well, surely you can think of some questions. Do your readings, do your homework. And even if you maybe don't have a very specific question, you could ask a general question about how, with, does this relate, this topic relate to another topic? But please use those resources um, of your professor being available to you. Um, you want to probably need to adjust your to your planner at this point. <laughs> Due dates have changed and so it's not enough for you to go back into your planner and just shift the due dates over. You also need to be keeping track of when you are going to do the work for the due date. That's something that kind of gets lost sometimes is that people think, oh, I have the due date written down, I'll get it done. But they're not making time to actually do the work. So go back into your calendar and write out or type out, depending on what kind of calendar you use, when you're going to do the work so it is ready to turn in on the due date. Um, 
I mentioned this before, but using your resources. So your professor is definitely a big resource in this. They're the ones who are making the changes to the class, the how they're getting information to their students, how they're um, developing their online class. But there's a lot of different resources out there. Your schools have um, online writing centers that are probably still available. All of the universities and colleges and schools, elementary schools, high schools, they have access to libraries and databases that you have through the school. So use those resources. Public libraries um, that are available too. So using those kinds of um, resources is really important during this time. Lots of information is being is flooding the market right now because everybody's moving to these online platforms. So you're having um, company for-profit companies put out um, access to online books and audible books. Um, you're having for-profit companies give access to um, longer like trial periods um, for different um, services. So using those resources that are available to you, but also using things like Khan Academy, which has always been free. Maybe you're studying something and you feel like, oh, I didn't understand that very well and I've asked my professor or I looked at her lecture and I didn't still didn't understand it. What other resources could I use to teach myself to learn that? So using Khan Academy, using lectures from other um, professors from other universities that are posted on YouTube. Those are all things that are at your disposal now. So please continue to use them, not just the resources on your campus, but the resources that are on the web in general. Of course, you wanna make sure that you're using credible, um, valid and accurate resources when you, when you search out these um, online resources, but please don't hesitate to use those kinds of things. Um, finally, the last tip I'm going to have today for managing this academic disruption and navigating this new um, online space, if you haven't done it before, is to be flexible. Yes, I highly recommend you plan, make a routine and stick with it. Attend class every single day, um, even if it's not, an, even if your professor isn't having an online lecture. But you need to understand that things are going to change and things are going to happen. And you're going to need to deal with those and then you're gonna to need to get back to your routine. You maybe need to adjust your routine a little bit, but you need to deal with the um, disruptions <laughs> and then you need to get back to your routine. It's really important to be flexible because we all need to give each other a little bit of grace right now. We are, the whole world is suddenly learning how to do things online that they've never done before. Especially those of us who are older or in fields who haven't usually been online. We haven't used a lot of online platforms before. So maybe the professor was supposed to start a class at 10 and they weren't able to figure all everything out until 10.05 or 10.15. Give them a little bit of grace, they're learning. Maybe a teacher was going to have something posted by you know five o'clock today, but they have children at home that they're trying to teach as well. And so they didn't get it posted until the next day at 8 a.m. Give them a little bit of grace. We all need to be giving each other a little bit of space to make room, to make mistakes, but then to fix those mistakes so that we can move forward. That's being flexible. Um, it's a really important during this time that we do that for each other because um, we're gonna need it. Someone's gonna need to be flexible with us and give us a little bit of grace at some point too. So just to recap, read your school email daily to keep abreast of the information that's coming out from your administration. Um, look at your academic hub every single day to, so that you're aware of any changes that your professors are making to due dates or assignments or shifting gears entirely. Follow a routine, uh, attending class every day, um, even if it's online or even if you don't have to be there online, you're showing up um, during that time that you're, you're already following your class schedule. Put the due dates, but also put the to do's in your calendar so that you make sure you're having time to get everything done. Use your online resources, both campus resources and public resources out there. And finally, be flexible with each other. This is um, uncharted territory for most of us. Yeah, we've done things online, but not to the scale that we're doing it now. So we can all use a little refresher on how to navigate this academic disruption and how to navigate these transitions because this, um, this is a big transition for all of us. So again, thank you for your time. Um, again, my name is Leanne Maxwell with Panther City Partners. Um, thanks for watching.